In summer, it's easy to tell a plant's sex by looking at its flowers. That's a male winterberry holly on the left with yellow pollen and a female on the right with big green pistils. But how can you tell in winter when there are no flowers? Here's a quiz. Which of these hollies is female and which male? This one's got berries all over it. This one doesn't have a single one. How about a hint? Easy, right? If you're carrying a baby in your belly, odds are you're a female. Plants are just the same. If you see seeds or fruits on a plant, it must have had an ovary, which makes it either female or bisexual. Like hollies, staghorn sumacs have separate sexes. In winter, males look spindly and bare-branched. Females have conical bunches of rusty red fruits on their branch tips. But why have some plants evolved distinct sexes? One reason might be that if male and female flowers are separated, as in pussy willows, a plant can't pollinate itself and suffer the consequences of inbreeding. Plants might also benefit by specializing in just one sex. Consider the Leatherman multi-tool. It can do all sorts of things, but none of them particularly well. For a specific job, a specialized tool often works better. If the job is to attract birds, like American robins, to swallow your fruits and disperse as many seeds as possible, investing everything in a conspicuous fruit display might be the best option. And that's why you can sex plants, like staghorn sumacs, even in winter. There's one. 